Hello, Tony the Tech here um, with another Prices Alarms instructional video and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, your alarm system in general. Uh, one of the questions that we get asked a lot around here at Prices Alarms is uh, the, what is the beeping that's coming from my system? There's a beeping and I'm concerned about the alarm and what can I do about it? Now in this day and age uh, there's a lot of different things in your home that are going to beep. Um, what I would focus first on is uh, to check the keypad. So um, we have one of our most popular systems here in front of me. This is the Interlogix NX system. Uh, go to the keypad, have a look and see if you see a service light. Uh, the manual will tell you to press star 2 on there. If there's a trouble condition, the keypad would display what the trouble is. Now we have a lot of different types of alarm systems and each one is a little bit different in the way that it will display troubles to you. But uh, so I would recommend grabbing your user manual or downloading one off of our website uh, for the system that you have and just um, taking a look in there. So to, first of all, determine where the beeping is coming from. Is it the keypad? If it's the keypad, it should be fairly easy to troubleshoot. Using the manual and the on-screen information, you should be able to determine what it is. It could be a battery issue, a power issue, a telephone line issue. Uh, they will definitely show on the display and um, if you need assistance with troubleshooting that we are available Monday to Friday 8.30 to 5. We have a tech support team to try to assist. Uh, if you've cancelled a phone line for instance the system might be trying to use the phone line and uh, it sees that, that loss of line voltage. That's a fairly important signal um, obviously letting you know that the system may or may not be able to communicate to us. If you have a cell backup which we offer for most systems, then you're still going to get communication over the cell. But uh, phone line issues, that sort of thing, are very important and we highly recommend that uh, you contact us to find out um, how to proceed with that. If you know you've lost a Shaw or Telus phone line, then you can follow up with Shaw or Telus to find out what's happening with the phone. Battery issues, uh, of course, um, you should get a zone display as well to let you know where the trouble is occurring from. It could be the bedroom window, it could be the front door, it could be a motion detector or a smoke detector. The on-screen information should let you know where that is occurring and you can follow uh, one of our, or look at one of our other instructional videos and we'll show you how to change batteries on all your devices. Um, you know, if the, trouble, if the beeping you find is not coming from the keypad itself but it's coming from some other area of the home, you really need to try to determine exactly where that's coming from. It could be a carbon monoxide detector or a smoke detector that isn't even connected to the alarm system itself. Um, most of them have batteries, uh, battery backup that will beep when they get low. Uh, some of them have end of life trouble conditions uh, over a five or a ten year period where they'll beep if saying that you need to replace the unit. One of the tricks that we've found, uh, the technicians will use as well, they'll um, muffle the smoke detector or the CO detector or something that you think might be causing the noise and see if that does in fact muffle the noise. Uh, a lot of these sensors have what we call omnidirectional sounders. So in, in the, if the acoustics of the room uh, have a lot of hard surfaces, something that's beeping on one side of the room can sound like it's coming from the other side of the room. So if you could spend a few minutes just to try to verify exactly where the noise is coming from. Uh, if it's coming from a Prices Alarms device, anything installed by us in the last 10 years or more should have a little Prices decal on them. There's a reason why we put those on there is to help you troubleshoot the fact that it's a Prices device versus a 120 volt non-monitored smoke detector or a local battery powered smoke or CO. Yeah, so at night, uh, if the temperature drops down uh, a little bit, that can sometimes affect how batteries function. You might find that a, a, a borderline low battery might go low uh, at night. It could be because you've armed the system at night where it wasn't armed during the day. Uh, and now what you'll want to do is acknowledge the trouble at the keypad because you're not going to want the keypad to continue to beep at you so sometimes arming and disarming or disarming and arming the system will stop the beeping but you definitely want to acknowledge it first uh, and then uh, you can try to troubleshoot what the trouble condition actually is but again don't get frustrated um, 
don't try removing the keypad from the wall or anything like that. Um, to see if you can fix the problem. If uh, we're mo our monitoring station is available 24/7 to assist in some basic troubleshooting with you, uh, feel free to give them a call, and hopefully you can work through what the trouble is or determining if it is even in fact the alarm system that's beeping. Uh, you might find that it ends up being something else in the house. Well, I hope that's helped you out um, with a trouble keypad or a beeping keypad. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to us uh, if you have any questions. You know, we're going to continue to add videos. We're going to expand on videos. Um, we like the feedback. Please uh, let us know what you think. And uh, we look forward to talking to you soon. Stony the Tech from Prices Alarms. Have a great day.